go ahead and push my stream around real quick. Self promotion. Uh -oh. Huh? What? Clickety clackety. Oh fuck, you should. I wasn't paying attention. Uh, I gotta set my fucking fish and tie. Come on. I mean, sorry, I forgot your shirt again. Give me a minute. Clickety clack. Clickety clack. I may not even pay attention to you doing that, but just let me know when you do. Uh, or just audibly be like, hey, fish and tie time. Be like, bye. Uh, I'm streaming now. I know, I'm. Clicky. Working on that as we speak. Clickety clackety. And. No, no. no, I'm not gonna put it in the trash. Uh. Ouchies. Big ouchies for big boys now. <laughs> okay. Well, I guess it's time to start the video game. Last time on Text Murphy, we found out a few things, nothing too serious, nothing too strenuous. We found out that Tex had a bit of a head injury. He did a little bit of finding around his office to, to figure out that there has been a person in that has been watching him from across the way. Uh, I can't really check with this right there-ish. And then here's his place, so it's with an eye shot. Um, and his name was Carlos Maldonado, who was another PI who had been working here for roughly a year, but now he's turned up dead. And now I'm supposed to find a man named Mason. <clears throat> Where's the friend? Don't touch laser traps. Oh yeah, don't touch laser. No, laser nets. Nets. Yeah, they burn fingers. They burn the fingies. So there's a few little loose ends that I don't want to mention because maybe they might get some words here. Ow. I know who that is. <clears throat> Let's grab the water. I fucking love this music. Alright. So... What was my current habit to? I need to wait a day while Mojo works on the thumb drive. So that'll be for day three. Uh, that'll be for that. Um, I need to talk to Holly Graham about the woman in the picture. Yeah. 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 Hello, Holly Graham. Hey, Tex. How's your case progressing? Yeah, I've seen this woman in here. In fact, she picked up a piece of mail that's been delivered here. I might be able to get a name or address for you. Oh, look, Let me see if text. I have an image of the envelope. What's that? Yep, got it. I said I would love to be called Tex. Tex? Tex Murphy. Just like, hey, Tex. Hey, Tex. Let's go with Tex. Hey, Tex. I think the kid who works here has a crush on me. Maybe one of these days I'll rock his little world. That's weird. That's weird. That's... that's... The Ritz landlord? Sounds uh, like you may have a couple of wait, screws what? loose. But nice enough. That crusty old perv is always coming in here trying to get a peek at my underpixels. Weird. If I could smell, I'm pretty sure he would stink. Always looks right. like he's up to something unsavory. This turned oddly sexual for hologram. <laughs> yeah. Mason. Let me check. I can confirm that Mason Bowers has been a registered guest here. Oh, so you might want to turn Sorry, down my audio. I'm, I'm a little loud. to give out any more information than that.
Hey, I can hear you in Discord and in stream. Don't you bitch about me trying to help you. That's fine. There you go. Now you're a little lower. There. I took you down 20%. That should be fine. Oh, Jesus. Holly sends the information oh, Jesus. about the mystery right, well, now. to my smart Alex. All tapping. All tapping with this game doesn't work too well. <clears throat> oh, I saw that. Jesus. This place as mucho dinero. Okay, so. So, Holly Graham now marked a place. Cool. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, that was perfect. Perfect volume. Good job. Yeah. Good job. Closed. Yeah, this building's been a lemon for anyone who's tried to open it. Hey, you can see those signs now, can't you? Like the Ritz Hotel and whatnot. Mm-hmm. Golden Gate looks a little bit more vibrant. The Ritz, the uh, Hot L. Can I see the Hot L? I cannot see the Hot L. Oh, the E lights up from time to time. Oh, the, uh, the what's, what? what's Fuchsia again? What's what? Fuchsia. Fuchsia? Purple? Purple, that's right. Yeah, it's like, well, it's like a deep pink closed yeah this building's been a lemon for anyone who's tried to open a business okay. here so now we can either investigate the new location that holly graham has uh, mentioned or what have i got oh i actually don't have anything hey moif by archie run into Archie for a little while, I don't think. Hen. Hen, hello. Alright, so I can head to the beach house. Whoa. I get in my speeder and realize I'm very wobbly and my vision's pretty fuzzy. I realize it's finally time to get this head wound checked out and some professional input on what's happened to me. Now's as good a time as any. I call a cab and I'm on my way to the North Hill Clinic. Time to meet the doctor. Very unsafe. Where are you headed? Yeah, you know what? That's fair. Private we we should have like checked bitch. out the headed a little sooner, but your mm. eyes are really bloodshot. Yeah, you should see it from this side. You live around here? Yeah, I do. Live the Ritz. I've heard there's a lot of Morlocks in that area. Morlocks. That's what they call them. Some new crazy type of mutant. Really? Yeah, I've heard rumors that they're uh, attacking people. On Chandler Avenue? Just rumors. But you never know. Things could get worse, sir. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, uh... I just wanted to let you know I was packing heat up here. Didn't mean to freak you out. Uh, that's fine. It's just the last time hey, I got a ride from someone. The, uh, the host. They shot me, so I'm a little jumpy. Hey. I like hosts. It's a nice gun, by the way. I used to have one just like it. I've had this for a long time. Some idiot threw it out his window. If you recall, last time there was uh, a flashback the where head he is painful threw a for gun sure. out the window. Hey, my, Dr. my girlfriend threw the gun out the window. Can I get it back? And got his hat shot off. I know this is gonna be a weird little fact, but uh, this Tex Murphy really sounds like my family doctor, and it's really weirding me out. Oh yeah? He sounds really like him. <laughs> you fucked up, Rather bitch. Warn me, you might be a problem patient. Oh, yeah, come in now and everything stops moving. A minute ago, it was like Fantasia in here. I'm just going to assume you've got some head trauma. Let's see what's going on. Over the past few months, I've been having these really vivid dreams. I mean, they're so real, I can't even tell I'm dreaming till I wake up. Uh, what's happening right now kind of feels like that. Do you want to know if you're dreaming right now? Ow. Yep, you're awake. So tell me what happened. Well, I woke up a few hours ago with this goose egg on my head and an injection mark on my arm. 
I've got no idea how I got them. As a matter of fact, I have no idea about anything over the past seven years. Oh, let me, let me take a pretty good shot to the head. Okay, I'm have to knock you I'm out. I'm not tapping. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Hang on. I'm going to get rid of something real quick. I'm going to go ahead and put that on. There we go. Keep, keep the subtitles okay. That looks like the PlayStation Move controller. Doesn't loss, it though? But, but no, that's that's that technology. Seven of that. years. Let's see that mark on your arm. I think I need to draw some blood. Anything on your form accurate? <sighs> hmm. Everything except my name, address, and billing information. Oh, well, I'm guessing your bloodstream's full of cholesterol and toxins, but I'm sure we'll find something else there, too. Have you ever had an implant? Look, I just want my figure to be in proportion. Well, that injection mark concerns me, but I don't want to speculate. I would really like to keep you overnight for observation. You mind waiting around until we figure this out? No can do. Well, if you don't mind, uh, I'd like to ask you a few questions, then I'll check back for the results. Oh, wow, I don't have anything to ask her. So many. Let's just keep this professional, shall we? I don't think you could do much better. And yes, I mean that the way it sounded. Damn, bitch. Why are you like that? I believe he runs a diner over on Telegraph Hill. I've dealt with many cases of amnesia, but nothing exactly like this. Okay. After leaving North Hill, I get a cab ride back to my office. After a while, I'm feeling a little better, so I hop in my speeder and get oh, out of the, the mystery woman. Who well, I hope can give me info on Mason I, I don't. I'm not 100 percent because I, I haven't beaten this one, but I think that has an important part, and that might have been just before I quit the first time. So. Hi, it's this is more like it. Fun fact, this is a former vacation home for three James Bond villains. Goldfinger! Oh, found a clue immediately. Baseball card? <laughs> Used to collect these as a kid. Now I collect past due notices. <laughs> Has two notices. <laughs> hey, smoke no more cigarettes. I hear they have a smoking deterrent system built right into the cell. Well, I mean, that table's like Fantasia. Hey, buddy, do you know a thousand people stop smoking every day by dying, you moron? Kissing you would be like licking an ashtray. Get it, dumbass? Hey, did you know that you and I are similar? Well, the system's about as effective as other systems I've tried. But I'll keep these in case I have a smoking emergency. I mean, I wouldn't smoke it. In an emergency, you wouldn't? I don't smoke anyway. The so. soothing, yeah, right. sultry siren song of a red cat. Staring at this picture is more exciting than watching a game of baseball. One of the developers. A collector's game. edition of Matt Cubase Tyler baseball card. I wouldn't dare thieve that. Well, this looks cheap. Excuse me? It reminds me of the time I tried to cook meatloaf. Nothing I can use. Now that was a terrible year for wine. Funny. Isn't that Deep Forest Bunny from Night of the Lepus? Yeah, just some books. Yeah, just some books. Who sells seashells by the seashore? Now that is my kind of book. Are those books that are leaning, not leaning on anything? Yeah. Well, kinda. Look, this game was built by like 12 people. Leave them alone. Now that is my kind of book. 
Leave oh, those specific leave 12 people alone. Yeah, leave those 12 people alone. They, they did their best. I think that's upside down. Magnets. How do they work? Current. Memes. Watermelon. Watermelon. Ah, delicious jams. Hmm. Delicious jams. Lobster. I'm sorry, is that beef, but it's broccoli? What? Low. I wish I can crouch. Yeah, I don't know. It's in the freezer. Freezer burn ice cream. Regular pizza. Not really? Enough. They found someone to eat this crap. Yeah, regular pizza. No, I don't like my pizza like I like my women. Boneless. Regular. Whoa, boneless is very. Ooh, I feel like that's a touchy one. Boneless. <laughs> Never, ever stick your hand in a toaster. Never, ever stick your hand in a toaster. Mm, salty. Mmm, tasty. Cookies? Nope. Just flour. That's a reference, Standard too, I think. And none of them look very edible. Never, ever stick your hand in a toaster? Probably. Most of the stuff's expired. <sighs> It's no good to me without alcohol. Huh. It's no good to me without. I really sure look into getting a kitchen for my apartment. Huh? What? What? Uh, fine feast for mice. Dudley T. Charms. Well, oh, there's more cupboards here. King the fine is feast for a mice. You can really judge a person by the kind of groceries they buy. Wait, what? Is that Campbell's? No, they they can't use Campbell's. Shh. Oh, shit! That door opening you can really scared judge me. Judge a person by the kind of groceries they buy. But it totally is Campbell's. Well, it's the same design. Well, that might come in handy. Hmm. Ooh. What was that? I didn't know what that was you picked up. Oh, a baseball card. Oh. <clears throat> okay. Can you shut the door or something? I wouldn't open that if I were you. But since I'm me... Boy, I try not to look directly into a mirror because it's kind of bad for my self-esteem. <laughs> Yeah, I believe that's a towel. Yeah, I believe that's a towel. Let's see, that says B A B B. Oh, bath. Is that a new nuke reference? Oh, dub dub. What to the self-esteem in the mirror? Yeah. Yeah. Looking good. Well, one man's that's trash. That's a fucking is a weird bath though. Clue. Oh, hang on. Hey, a hammer, uh, I can I camera comic. Another Mike and I camera candy comic. Gun drops and lollipops. I'll put this in my comic book rack collection in my office. But first... Classic. These baseball cards are great collectibles. This Petri dish is encrusted with all sorts of gunk. I'll need to clean it off to see what's underneath here. <clears throat> so, several of my sources are questioning your alliance. Surely, after all we've been through, you would not work against me and turn to her. You've been paid very... You've been very well paid, that's a weird sentence, for your work, and I do not take kindly to those who betray me. T. Who is T? Surely, after all we've been through, you would not turn against me and turn to her. Looks like someone with the T for Terry Crews. He did Mason's it. Allegiance. Power! Pop, 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 power. I find moisturizing to be the most important part of a daily routine. Lord knows I could use a plunger at my place. Oh, I always put out fresh towels for my guests. I mean, had any. Ah, a remembrance of a much simpler time. I find this very illuminating. My landlord always reminds me that indoor plumbing is a privilege, not a right. Oh, shut the fuck up, Tex. Say what? hello to my little friend. Find this very illuminating. Oh, yeah. Now that was a terrible year for wine. Right, that's right, that's Pillaging must be one of their hobbies. Nice. Some crates should never be opened. 
Actually, can I do another inspect from a point? Classic. Yeah. This frame needs nine baseball cards. What are the points do the even? Um, back in Sierra days, points were judgmented on how well you did. If you looked at everything, if you interacted with everything, if you did some secret stuff, it's all a matter of your personal, personal score. Like I think right now. I'm so it's like getting in there and Resident Evil classics. Yeah. Or, okay. Yeah, just some books. Or an A. I don't think there was S. Wrong form of no, it was Japanese, so there was an S. Never mind. <laughs> yeah, it just looks. Oh, sure, that seems impressive. But I bet you it wasn't nearly as difficult as obtaining my PI license from an entire summer of night school. No, that's not important. I thought that said uh, on the medical license, but I thought it was boners. Yep. Oh, I can't fuck with the vid phone? Oh, I don't think a lot of studying went on in here with that flat screen TV on the wall. Watch out, there's something behind you. Behind me? <clears throat> That's what Venom said. Even if there is something behind me, death approaches. This frame needs nine... Man, I don't even know what I was trying. This frame needs nine. Mm -hmm. Well, that won't work. Mm -hmm. Do I need all nine? Well, that won't yeah, work. I guess I need all nine before I can do it. So, I'm at three out of nine. Uh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. That star seems really weird. Oh, nah, it's just more of a puzzle detective Molasses, game. Beware. Yeah. Uh, with a little bit of satire, jokey joke, um, a little bit of preface for you. This this game series originally started in 1989 with uh, Mean Streets. I want to say Tex Murphy Mean Streets. And it was just a simple side-scrolly click-and-point adventure that had mo very, very bad but mild uh, FMV. Now jump ahead a little bit to 1992 where he did under a killing moon and the fmb got a little better the the point and click got a little bit better the deductive reasoning was a lot better uh jump ahead to 1995 was pandora manifesto and that was the last case of tex murphy for a little bit until 1997 and i don't remember what that one was called and then yeah video game history i guess yeah and then here we are in 2014 where we have tex murphy uh tesla effect that gave me a that gave me a spook <laughs> that made me go the owner's ventriloquist dummies in here i'm gonna be very upset so this is a this is a code. Oh no, this is a code I don't need right now. <coughs> hello, hello, uh, hello. Oh, hello. There's something up there. Sheesh! I couldn't even imagine lugging this thing up those stairs. Five eighty two. Is it a four digit code though? I think it's a four digit code. So let's see. Let's try zero five eight two. No, it's a five-digit code. Oh, gross. That's that's a bit that's a bit worrying. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, what is this? Oh, I think it's just a random UI lip. Oh, my can I camera? So my can I camera candy comic. Sleep with a zero five fish. eight two one. <laughs> Put this in my comic book rack collection in my office. Hey, if you're right, I mean, holy shit! I Look at you, detective. Zero, five, eight, two, one. No, I tried it. Can't say I didn't. Not a lot of books, 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 books. Yeah, just That's some books. Big... Look at, look at. It's the same texture, just smaller. <laughs> yeah, just some books. Yeah, just some books. Well, no big bad wolf will be getting in here. Yeah, just some books. 
Well, I see they like to keep. Still begs the question, though. If, like, even if you knew the code, could you enter it before you found the code? I don't know. Vertical stripes make these chairs look. A lot of newer Resident Evil games don't let you do it. Oh, hey, a book that looks really out of place. Books. Really? That book looks hella out of place. Look at that. that yeah, if you're one number <laughs> off, I mean, hell, I don't know. Good job. Oh wait. An old Zoom portable music device. Yeah, I remember when I was a kid, my mom got me one of these while all the other kids oh, it's an iPad. iPads and iPods. Oh, Zoom. I remember okay. just how I felt that day. I wonder what happened to it. Oh, yeah. Now I remember. I think I had a Zoom. I bet there's a baseball card in it. The I, okay, the I'm here, sorry. Did he crush? Okay, that FMB made it look like he crushed the, the floor. floor. Yeah. Twelve people. Like it may not be a perfect game, but damn it, they're trying. Hey, baseball card. No, I could use that. I was gonna say with a kick like that, who the hell beat him up? Well, you you remember that fucking pipe beat up scene from the last session? That's fair. One underneath that hat. There is one underneath that hat. Ha ha. That might come in. Here. Yeah, but again, this game was made by twelve people, so twelve people and actors. Get a little break. Yeah, twelve people and actors. And all the original actors, uh, Murphy, uh, yeah, Tex Murphy, uh, Louis, uh, Clint. Holly Graham's new, but she's an, an okay B actress, I think. She she looks familiar to me, but I can't recall what she's from. Um, Rook. Ooh, maybe in the plant. Plant, oh, plant, this plant. Or under the one of the lamps. Barrels make any interior space. Barrels make any interior space look more rug. There's room for every member of the Brady family on here, except Alice, and I never can. This coffee table's a special design. Oh, it's got a hidden drawer. Nothing adds personality Wait, to a I room can move like now. Oh, hello. Hmm. That's interesting. It's all back. Yeah, it's not my style. Yeah, it's nothing adds. Yeah, it's not my style. Okay. So how many do I have? Do have I have at six. I'm at six out of nine. Let's go search. There might be some outside, maybe. I, don't know. I was getting that feeling. I was getting that. Quite the mood lighting. This house belongs in a tax bracket that I'm most unfamiliar with. Ha 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 ha, it's funny because you're broke. Yikes, that skybox. That is ominous as hell. Like if I if I walked outside saw that, I'd be like, hmm. Maybe it's a I'm good- I'm going back to bed. I'm, I think I'm gonna sleep for a while. Ooh, under the stairs? Flashlight. I'm really shocked that there's not one outside, but wow, this that flashlight's effective. A special design. It's got a hidden drawer. Uh. Coffee table has a hidden drawer. Ah. That's why it was glowing. Floppy, I'm glad you have a flashlight, buddy. But it makes me wonder, can it see in the dark? This coffee table's a special design. Hello. Hello. So well, one book. man's trash is a PI's clue. Already this said. coffee table's a special design. So let's see what we got here. We got a... <clears throat> etiquette. Uh, oh, okay, well, there's the code. Uh, a kind greeting such as hello 43556 that's the numeral that would have been great if you just did that and didn't have this but whatever it's it's fine it's fine um the cryogenic sleep state that has caused so much physical and mental damage to the morlocks which is those weird uh yeah you did you remember about. right yeah. one, one you're a fifth of the way there you were you 
one step in the door, but two steps out of it. They'll still close that door. Uh, to be speeding up, causing serious deterioration on the right side of my face. I do hope you have a solution soon. So let's see what he says about it. Seems Mason was treating someone with serious facial deterioration. And who's got face deterioration? I only know two people. Well, one. Well, one's missing an eye, but I know one person who has face deterioration, but it's like, why would he be out this far? And their name is a T. So. I know. Hello. The eight lost rules of etiquette. Rule number one, a friendly greeting could open doors for you. Sure. Whatever you say. All right. So how many cards do I have? Six. Well, let's go see what this secret room's got, maybe, perhaps. A-G-L-L-O. You should play Deceit. What is Deceit? What is Deceit? Talk to me if you... Oh, okay. We're gonna get an F. Hey, day three! Hey, it's an MRI machine. Drugs, guns, and cash? Or the Fast and the Curious. It's a horror game. Alright, let's see. This scene. Me and horror don't do too Hoping good. To find more information about why sleazy PI Carlos Maldonado is the seat on Steam. On place. Leads me to a swanky beach. Do I own it? Free to play. Oh, it's free to play. I meet an incredibly beautiful woman inside a home. Uh. Test your instincts at trust and deception in a multiplayer first person shooter. You wake up. Oh, this is that one where uh what are you doing here? You play well, together and like one of you's infected and I knew I had to meet you. Now I'm rethinking that. We'll you see. Me, we'll see that, 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 that oh, I wish I did. Does that count? We met just once years ago. So did you Did you hear about the free PS4 game? game? Oh, are you here for this next month? I'm sorry. Destiny? The correct answer next is month? C, all of the above. I mm. came here to find like you, but it's Mason. This month was Dead by Daylight, but... Well, you'll have to make do with me. Mason isn't here. Yeah. The, so how do you know the next month? In the biblical sense. No, I haven't heard about next month. Uh, we get Destiny 2. Destiny, Destiny 2? Really? Yeah. And, That's uh, sad. Mm -hmm. No kidding. It's God of War 3 remastered. He ever leaves the house. We've been legally separated for Chasen a month. Yeah. He has issues, erratic behavior, periods of deep depression. It got to be too much. Psychological problems, huh? What are we talking here? He ties his shoe for an hour, or he walks into Burger Barn with dynamite in his pants? I think it was just a reaction to stress. His work kept him away for you're weeks. You're being a real sick right now. So I heard your husband was a I neurologist, like a brain surgeon or something. Thank you for the call. Or something, yes. He worked in neurochemistry, how chemicals influence neural operations. So who's he working for now? Mason never talked about his work, even before we separated. But we stayed in touch. This was the longest he ever went without calling me. I got worried and came here. I found Maldonado's number and called to see if he knew anything. Yeah, well, Maldonado's not going to be able to help as much because he's dead. Is that who you were coming to see on Chandler Avenue? Mm. Yes, that's right. What happened to him? Well, I'm not sure, but I'm trying to find out. But the trail seems to lead through your husband, who, by the way, I believe has been abducted. Abducted? Now I'm worried sick. What are we going to do? Well, to start with, if you could think of anything that could help me out here to find him, that would be a big help. I will. Feel free to look around. You know what? Or he's sick. Help, but crane I'll neck. Give you my number so you can call me later. And sorry about the gun to the head thing. Oh, it's okay. I've just got one of those faces. That probably look better with a hole in it. I have my doubts about <laughs> Ariel Bowers' motivation. <laughs> All right, that's fair. She certainly seems to have an agenda which includes yeah, one of those more faces that look better with a hole in it. Up to. What is she up to? Hubba hubba. Whew. Is it hot in here or did my internal fan just crash? Well, it feels like I'm being played for a sap. Oh, come on. She's just getting ready to play the field. I'd like to bring her over for a debugging session. <laughs> okay, enough. He's looking a little under the weather. Looking at medical posters always gives me the heebie jeebies. If I found a my laptop's uh, internal fan is dying. Looking at medical posters always gives me the heebie-jeebies. I... 
I was awake and it hurt a lot. That kind of thing goes without saying. <laughs> so the, his fax machine. They don't look alive anymore in that picture. Looks like Carlos Maldonado was trying to get a hold of Mason about someone named. Yeah, that's not important. I hate throwing bad. Mason, it looks like Mar Margaret Leonard is going rogue. What should I do? Maldonado was tracking down a woman named Margaret Lane. You're a fucking P.I. Even if you have an ounce of ideas, if they're going rogue or has an idea of going rogue, you don't need to think about anything. You need to detain. Seven, seven fingers? Seven fingers, twelve ribs, eight skulls. Well, it's a microscope, and you'd need one of these just to see Rook's sense of humor. I'm sure these MRI pictures are showing me something. Well, extra fingies. Oh, another code, huh? Looking at medical posters. No. Unfortunately, it's not the tunnel of love. I'm sure these MRI pictures are showing me something. Did you just walk through this? Gives me an no, I walked around it. Yeah, see, I can't walk. I yeah, it's like I I just brush my face against it. I got a feeling that's not a crochet needle. No, it is not. Just looking at this gives me an icky feeling. An icky feeling. Okay, so I've got two things here. Let's go ahead. And well, it's a microscope. Let's go ahead and put the petri dish in. This petri dish is filthy. Yeah. I'll need to clean it off before I can use it on the microscope. Okay, well, let's go take a look at something real quick. You, you have something in? No. You have something in here? Really? Oh, you'd need a PhD to understand any of these books. Use your hit light. My business card? How did Mason Bowers get this? Reiteration, this is his new business card, the one that he does not know about. Well, does not know how he acquired. Man, that is so cool. Nothing I can use. Something on insanity? Okay. I mean... Nothing I can uh, use. Uh, stream life. Streaming? Streaming pretty well. You know, got a, got a couple active users in the chat. Feels great. Feels grand. Oh, what a very hospitable guest room. Oh wait, there's two more. Two more. Yeah. Oh, what's this? Flash drive? No, no. Come back this out. Is the place to conduct some business. Well, I wonder what's on this little device. On memory stick. So Mojo's memory stick kind of probably works on the computer in Bowers' MRI oh, room. Oh, or I just do that. That's fine. Uh. Long-lasting memories are created through a process of consolidation, which is based on the formations of protein in the brain. Thus, memories, particularly painful ones, are formed by these unstable proteins, making them easily identifiable and removed with a combination of drugs and behavior therapy. Shaky cam from hell. Ensuring memory elimination. It makes me wonder who's holding it then. There are those who do not believe that the benefits so he's not of using a tripod, outweigh the risk. Is he using one of those? They warn the eliminating Rooks? memories. One could significantly uh, alter the person's personality, their history. Well, if his wife knew, she, why didn't she give me this information? Oh, so, a fancy device that wipes your memory. Did the Jimbo's useful technology? You don't have an honest face. She out didn't have an honest neck. That neck was lying to herself. Well, she didn't have an honest gun either. Mercy here for the victim. All right. That's fair. Not. So Bowers could erase memories. Let's let's put that let's put that in our mind without forgetting it. It's impossible though because Bowers erased my memory and I already forgot what I was supposed to remember. But how did you remember that you forgot something? Because, fuck you. Reason. Reason. Because plot. Uh, so how many how many cards do I have? Eight. I still only have six cards. If I was a card in this video game, I would turn on my flashlight and find them. Mm -hmm. 
Ah. Found one. Yoink. Yoink. That is what I say. So there is nothing else in this room that shines. Cool. I don't know if I get the open concept between these two bedrooms. Yeah, that's really weird. Like, I can see the bedrooms being downstairs in those nice rooms. This I could see as, like, a uh, an entertainment set or something. Very strange. Uh, nothing around here. Nothing around here. So I got seven cards. Seven out of the... Uh, seven out of the uh, nine. You should search those drawers in the other bedroom. Nope, nope, hold on. Won't need to. No, I could use that. That's eight. Uh Aha! There's a past due notice here. You're late, you bum! Uh, note to self. Check and make sure I made my speeder payment. I love those little tiny jokes that it does. That was interesting. Wouldn't you want to get hit by a piece of paper? So wait, the drawers. Take its ass. The drawers? The drawers on this side? I can open it from here. I don't need to worry about Oh, the poster. The poster? The poster? Downstairs? No, no, on the other bedroom. Spot. Oh, perfect for watching someone while they sleep. Yeah, just a just a random giant's poster, but good spot. Oh wait, I thought I saw it go. My bad. Nothing here. Oh, just check the kitchen that I thought I checked. Cause I thought I did a really good job at checking the kitchen. Oh, I guess I did. Into the bathroom. Are you fucking serious? Behind the stairs? Behind the stairs? No, head over that way to the beach. No. Toilet? Toilet? That's back in here. No, but. Lamp next to it. Lamp next to it. Oh. No, nothing. Oh, wait. Tsunami! Tsunami! The shield. He checked the shield. I yeah, checked the shields. Tsunami! Hmm. I like how every time I do it, it saves. Hmm. I like to imagine that the wife just is watching you on the camera, just like, what the fuck is the poop? Peek around. Maybe it might be out here now that I got the flashlight of glowy things. Well, this is where you pulled out the flashlight very really nice, so. Huh? But I might have missed something, you never know. Okay, alright, 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 I tried. Okay. Behind the car, maybe? Behind my car? Or under it? I don't see no sparkles. Which, I would glad you a baseball card would survive the hovercraft's push, but. Yeah. We're figuring. We're we're trying to figure it out. We're we're trying to move. All right, let's head back into the secret room. Maybe the secret room had something, and I I was just. Did you ever enter the code? Yeah, you did. That was right. That's oh, that's right. There's this code. What is this code? What do I? Mm. This keypad needs a three-digit code. That's probably what the baseball cards are for. Oh, oops. Or actually, you know what? I'm gonna do something. Put this way. Long lasting memories are created through okay. the process of It's not a five digit code, it's three digit code. On the formations approaching in the brain. Okay, no. 
666, that's fair. The Mark of the Beast. No. 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 This cabinet needs a three digit code to open. I don't got no three digit code, I don't think. No, 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 no. So yeah, I need one more baseball card, so. Out with the flashlight. Gross, this bowl is full of fruit. Vertical stripes make these chairs look taller yeah. than they actually are. Our place? Well, I see they like to keep things hot in the bedroom. Mm, nothing. Nothing on the mantle place, nothing on the, the paneling. I swear to God, if it's in like a common place and I just overlooked it, I'm actually going to be mad. Just looking at these makes me... It's just oh, those plants floating. Those? Oh. Eh, not perfectly textured, but they're not bad. Yeah, they're not bad. Not perfectly textured, but they'll do. Box in front of the bed? No, it's it's just a locked box. But if the owner's dummy. ventriloquist dummies in here, I'm gonna be very upset. Hmm. Well, let's see if maybe I can handle the eight cards. Consider. Is this one going? I don't think I'm supposed to be up here. Well, let's see here. There's uh, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, it's not my style. I'm breaking the game. Barrels make any interior space look more rugged. Huh. Seems sturdy. A collector's. Well, this looks reminds me of the t must be a Barry Bonds bay. Uh, yeah, just some books. Uh, I think. Yeah, just. Uh, I think someone may nothing. I must be a Barry Bond. Hey, bada bada bada. I kind of have such a violent yeah, landing sell animation. Sell seashells by the seashore. Oh, oh, I got a thought thing. Toaster that. There's no shinies in this room at all. Zero shine. To the next. We're in the bathroom. Doing a quick backwards scan. No shinies in this room. You know what? Hold on. I'm, I'm going to do it. I don't want to do it, but I'm going to do it. Click. All right. Where to find all the nine cards in the beach house? Get inside the open desk to MRI. Pick up the unlock cabinet MRI. So how do I unlock the cabinet in the MRI room? <clears throat> Pick up sulfuric acid in the beach house study. Um, this would be the study, wouldn't it? Well, I see they like to keep things. I didn't. No, the study's the room with the baseball cards. I think, didn't it? Oh yeah, you're right. You you're right. You're right. So I didn't. So there's a sulfuric acid in here. There's only one drawer in it and only had a baseball card. Sometimes a cigar is just a cigar. If you know oh, I mean. hello. Sulfuric acid. <laughs> I better be careful with this. I guess luck counts for something. Something very tiny is written at the bottom of this petri dish. I'll need some help reading. Okay, cool. I did it. Open door. Neo, I bet you it's the fucking three-digit code. I swear to God, if it is, I'm gonna blow my. Well, it's a microscope. Up. I hate this game. Well, you got one of the numbers right again, Venom. Something tells me the doctor got a lot of toothaches. 
Cocaine, <laughs> cocaine toothache drops. Nothing I can use. Ooh, there's the last class. You should do cocaine about it. You should do cocaine about it. Thanks, Doc. I don't know what I could have done if I didn't get to cocaine about it. I don't remember this. Yeah, I didn't think it was going to be that simple. I didn't think it would be either. <sighs> uh... Well, now what? Where's the hint in this? I could... I, oh, my God. They were fusioning. Oh, God. Um... Oh, no, no, no. Get out of there. You up here, and... So, uh, you know what, yeah, I, I'm not gonna, oh, wait, I could just have them do the puzzle for me. Nah, I'll figure it, I'll, I'll figure something out. Nothing I can use. Really? Okay. Maybe this? No. Okay. Well, this looks cheap. Okay, I guess... I guess not? Oh, wait, what's this? Well, there's Waldo. I... Two on top, eight Venom on the left. Venom says he knows it. Two on top, eight on the left. Like it's not Remember. it's not really apparent on nine on the right. This puzzle is just over my head. Four below eight. Four below eight? Oh, okay, I, I, I think I got what you're saying. This, and then four below eight, like that. Five on right. Oh, okay. I just brute forced it. So, I just want to make it clear. I don't fucking know. <laughs> Lots of cash. Usually a sign of illegal activity. The drawer inside this safe needs two additional cards. Whatever's in here must be so important Good that job, Powers keeps both the cards with him at Thank all you. times. Mm, lots of cash. Pawn Weekly may be even sadder than that Cat Weekly magazine. All I got out of it was a Pawn magazine. Rook Garner shows his collection of Nikola Tesla artifacts. Interesting! Looks like Bowers was interested in some Nikola Tesla artifacts from Rook's pawn shop. Interesting. Gonna have to go see old Rook about that. So I now have a new lead. And Rook should do a cocaine about it. He should do a cocaine about it, do it. So I, 
I literally came here just for a magazine. Yeah, well, you met the wife, too. Well, what did she do for me? Stuck her neck out for you? That's a fucked up joke. Yeet. Chandler Avenue. I better drop by the barbecue joint and see how that, that is a really bad picture of a smile. Maybe he's decrypted that memory stick. Yeah, about time too. I need a new lead on this case. So I got two leads right now. One is uh, the encrypted memory stick from Mason. Two is the uh, Rook's pawn shop. Let's go see my collection. Cool. Salsa I should be right back. Is a Murphy family tradition. Wait, what? I'll be right back. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'll go see what Rook's up to. Yep, yep. Roto has a ring that can make him invisible, but I have a hand that can open any unlocked door. Uh, we need to talk. Oh, uh, do we have to, really? Yeah, trust me, you may be involved in what happened to me. Oh, the very thought makes me eating me. I knew you'd be pleased to hear that. But it's all tied to items of Nikola Tesla and a man named Mason Bowers. Uh, it's true. It's true, I've had some very rare Tesla items in my possession from time to time, but I have uh, never heard of his uh, Mason Bowers. You know Carlos Maldonado? Well, of course I know that wretched swine. Tell me how he ties into Tesla. Maldonado tried to bribe and threaten me to reveal my source of my Tesla items, but I didn't give it to him, and I won't give it to you. Do you think Maldonado was the one watching you? I think so. Oh, my, my, my. That could be troublesome. I need to make some inquiries. Uh, is there anything else? Well, yeah, because I'd like to... No, if you know this woman? Lovely. Oh, she may have come by here. I can't be sure. Very sketch, Rook. Just smelling the fumes coming off that establishment irritates my bowels. Thank you, Rook. What about Clint? Like I always say, you can take a bum out of a dumpster, but you'll never get a dumpster out of a bum. Where to live by? At least he knows how to keep his mouth shut. Mm. All right. Thank you. So I now got a little bit of keep key pressings for that. Uh, let's head into the barbecue place and get, get us uh, my thumb drive. Hey, Mojo. So, your memory stick's all ready to go. Now, what do you give me for it? Oh, no. What are you talking about? I thought we were partners in Andy crime. You think I'm gonna solve your case for free just because you're my idol? No, the great Tex Murphy wouldn't lift a finger without compensation. Neither will I. Well, I was going to offer you a very special junior detective badge. I don't want some stupid little orphan Annie ring. I want a memento from one of your cases. Something one of a kind. Hmm, more skeptical or more skeptical? More skeptical. I don't have anything like that. My apartment's practically empty. Even if I did, how do I know what's on the memory stick is even worth anything anyway? You know how your cases always have a hundred loose ends and you need that one missing piece to tie it all together? Stage one denier or stage two anger? Tell me a bewilderment. <sighs> Where do you find this stuff out? This could be that one missing piece. Mr. Murphy, you need this. How dare you? How dare you tell me what I need? Fine. Name your price. Do you remember that sicko who was going around with a liquid nitrogen freeze gun, shooting people and then smashing them? The press called him the Nitro Stalker. You got involved and the cops finally found him a few weeks later, smashed into a million pieces. You think I did that? Everybody knows you were behind that bit of freeze-dried justice. The freeze gun was never found and I'm betting you took it. I'll trade you the memory stick straight up for it. All right. But please be aware that Inspector Burns Corporate will be hearing about your shoddy customer service. 
Don't know. Oh, okay. You just don't know. I wonder who'd know about that stupid freeze gun around here. <laughs> Not again. You're gonna get me fired. Or worse. Can't help you with that. Hmm. What do you know about anything? I don't know what it is they're serving in there, but it sure as hell ain't barbecue. Thank you. What about this woman? Have you seen this woman? That's a fine piece of humanity there. She stopped by the other day and checked out our selection. Took her about two seconds to realize it was all crap. So she seemed to know her stuff. Okay, what about Clement? You know that guy's a go-getter. Why don't you get him to answer these questions? How dare you? Don't make me blow up your establishment. Bye. All right. So I don't think... Yeah, no, three three cards to midnight and uh, Rusty's is not even open yet. I don't think Holly Graham can help me out more. Let's actually go ask Clint. He, oh, never mind. Look, I'm not gonna ask Clint. <laughs> well, that was all strong and all that. Um, I guess I can go talk to Louise. It's real good having you stop in more regular. How can I help you? You got me there, wife. Holly Graham might actually know something about it, considering I don't have very many people to talk to. The only thing I can do is search my room, but and see if there's something that's now activated. Holly Graham. Hey, Tex. How's your case progressing? Yeah, see, this is the B, B actress that I've just like. I've seen her before, but I don't know who she is. Who's in? Not a clue. Thank you. I love this game. All right, well. Uh, all right. So what we got here is a literal dead end. Lead pipes are always magically oh, drawn to watch my it over skull again? like moths sure, well, to the Evil man who is a Terminator. <sighs> I love that you can rewatch all the old scenes just whenever. Yeah. Right, so. I come back and get to see the beat down the block time again. Hell yeah, you do. So. Um, I talked with Mojo about the encrypted key. He's now holding it for ransom for one of Tex Murphy's mementos. The memento he wants is a freeze gun. What? <laughs> Which I think was at the very beginning of Pandora Memento. Well, I had this door permanently sealed. The door to my back storage room is locked. That's, and it's a sitting room. Good for sitting. Let's take out the flashlight of magic. I don't, I don't have a I, I give up. I, I give up. Alright, so... Okay, we know how to get the memory stick from Mojo. I don't know about this. How to access Rusty's water tower? Like, is that the place that's open up across the street? No, it's Rusty's fun masks. From here, I get a great view of Chandler Avenue. So I don't know about the original that. Original Boulevard of Broken Dreams. Let, let's just let's just grab the freeze. All right, open water tower compartment and pick up freeze gun. Okay. Ask Rook about freeze gun. Done. Travel inside Rusty's. Oh, 
Oh, Rook. I never asked Rook about it. Because I didn't do Rook second. I did Rook first. Uh... As I made it perfectly clear, your status as a paying customer earns you a modicum of goodwill. I suggest you I'm use gonna it sneeze. judiciously. <laughs> Sorry. You lost me at modicum. Look, answer a few yeah. questions for me, and I won't kick your butt when I get my memory back. Free gun. Well, the freeze <clears> gun, <throat> the one you pawned that supposedly belonged to the Nitro Stalker, I believe it was purchased by one of those vigilante Morlock hunters. Okay. So now that opened up a water tower. Where the hell is a water tower? Me. Give me a, they give me a spook. Roads. Where we're going? Yeah, we'll need roads. <sighs> I hate it. I hate having to use this. Alright. Pick up padlock key. Oh, I guess Rusty's is open now. We'll go to O oh Lord, we beseech thee, give us strength, courage, protection. Hail, fellow countrymen. We are ready to begin our quest. Hunting the dreadful night beast. Make haste. Sorry, Tex, we gotta run. Farewell, Sir Larry Curly and Mal. Be sure to tell Snow White you're gonna be late for breakfast. Ooh, now this place is cool. A nerdy seventh grader's paradise. Yeah, every weapon you'd ever need to be a level 85 World of Warlord chieftain. It's a key to a padlock. The half life of Weenie World Burgers is at least 20 years. I used to love the game of Twisty until I realized its true sinister purpose. But this key opens. Mace is still a common tool for women's self-defense. You are correct. Yep. That's not diet. Whoa. I feel like I just missed the fellowship before they headed off to Mordor. Mordors. Let me inspect these so I get the inspection. Padlock key. Thank you. It's a padlock key for a refrigerator. For extreme dieters only. Ha! Oh my god. You know what that is? It's the cup of the carpenter. It's from the Holy Land Toys Collection by Robco. Batteries not included, a $10 value. Refrigerator saved half the population during the nuclear fallout of World War III. Luckily, Grandma Murphy had a commercial grade. Did someone leave these on? Because they look like they're on. Ah! Robco, we fall out, boys? We fall out, boys. Hey, where are the fun masks? I was promised fun masks. That leads to Rusty's roof. That was a waste of time. Wait, what? Well, that won't work. I'd have to use it on the padlock. We're in a dream. Snake eater. There's a dog. Well, there's a mean looking pooch behind this gate. <coughs> I see they put Rusty's zip line back in place. How convenient. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the thing I got a while ago called the zip line trolley. a bit much. Holy crap, that doll drawer. Yeah. No way! A 
freeze gun? I guess it was a mutant dog. This is definitely your I coolest guess. case ever. No pun intended. With freeze guns, the puns are always like, intended. Jesus Christ. Are you familiar with the work of Arnold Schwarzenegger? Please have mercy. I'm afraid my condition has left me cold to your pleas of mercy. I'm gonna find a way to turn you off, I swear. You're not sending me to the cooler. Thank you, Stay AUX cool. Machina. Can you examine it's the dog? Yeah. Midnight shop. I, I was waiting until they were done doing their banter. Thank you, DeUX Machina. Whoa, whoa, whoa. And then we're back in the dream. Snock Edwar. Snocky. <clears throat> you got it, didn't you? Mm -hmm. The Nitro Stalker Freeze Gun. So cool. My internet group is going to be so jealous. Listen, kid. We kind of keep this on the down low. If the cops find out I gave this to you, I'm probably going to lose my license. You can count on me. And I've already forgotten what was on that memory stick. Lips are zipped. Good enough. And, by the way, that doesn't work. Cool. Someone's in the car with me, isn't they? We may only get one chance, Carlos, so I wanted to go over the plan one more time. If Margaret shows up at the Ritz, call me immediately. If I'm delayed, detain her. We have to assume she won't give up the egg voluntarily, but I want to talk to her first. You know why I've given you the cryo chamber. But that has to be the very last resort. And if anything happens to me, I'll need you to contact a friend of mine. Keep it safe until I retrieve it. Well, it sounds like Mason and Margaret had a major disagreement. I need to locate both of them and get to the bottom of this. I decide to head back to my office to sort things out. Hey, cowboy. Any memories coming back yet? Not so far, but something tells me I might be missing out on some really good ones. That's solid detective work. So... Were we... dating? Dating? Oh, that's so cute. I guess you can call it that. But we were also... working together in a more professional capacity. Well, now my detective skills are picking up a little sarcasm. Seriously, cowboy. I learned a lot working with you the past couple weeks. Hmm? Let me get this straight. Uh, you and I were working on a case together. Did you mind telling me about that? Not at all. You wanted a list of tenants here at the Ritz as far back as I could go. Why would I do that? It was your dreams. They were vivid before, but they were getting out of control. It's almost like they were changing you into someone else. You talked about seeing things from the past, but you wouldn't give me details. You were incredibly stressed. It was like you actually believed this apartment was haunted. You even started looking into psychometry. Psycho what? Psychometry. It's the belief that an object can contain a person's energy or memories. So, not only am I an amnesiac, but I'm a paranormal idiot. Great. Sounds crazy, I know. But then we found out about Donnelly. Who? JT Donnelly. It was the most bizarre thing. You can contain my I'd dick. I heard you mention the name in your sleep. But then his name turned up when I checked out the previous tenants. So who is this guy? He's a private investigator, a real old school brute. He worked for some powerful, influential people. But then he disappeared around 1943. His last known address was here. San Francisco. No, here. The Ritz in this exact apartment. Okay, that's a little bizarre. It gets bizarrier. 
bizarre we here. You call me one night, raving like a lunatic, saying the walls were talking. I rushed over and found holes smashed in the wall, and you curled up on the floor in a ball. Well, I'm glad to hear I haven't changed that much. Yay! You wouldn't tell me what had happened. But after that, you wouldn't sleep here. That's when you got your new place and started to sleep there. New place? I have another place. Yeah, I don't, I don't. Yes, you do. Okay, this is where I left off then. It's even nicer than here. This is all crazy. I think I'm going to sleep here tonight just to see whether it affects me in the same way. Do you want some company? <laughs> Taylor, I'm beginning to see what the other me saw in you. In my head, it's still 2043. I've got to tell you, there was somebody else. Chelsea, I know. I know how much she meant to you, Tex. Losing her was traumatic as hell for you. But... But she's gone. And there's nothing you can say or do or don't do that's gonna bring her back. Do you feel that? I sure do. I'm alive. And that's my heart. It's yours if you want it. And it comes with all the other bits. First moral choice, and I don't feel comfortable making it. Chelsea got shot, but there was no confirmation. I'm yes. sorry, Tater. That's my own Chelsea. And I never even got the chance. Can you give her all of you or just part of you? Any chance if you can't give her all of you, then double. You don't understand. I don't understand. All that. of me loves crazy. all of you. The room you have across the hall with all our stuff is like some sick Chelsea shrine. I'm sorry I shouldn't have said that. I'm gonna go. Six hours later, the rain was finally letting up. Last night felt like a blindside punch to the face. Oh, she's not bad. She actually cared. Out of my office could be yeah, so painful. But bad choice. Bad choice. Well, maybe. I don't know. Her, but I've got way too many alive. questions, yearnings, and guilt not to find out. Who cares? She ain't tried to find you, so she's probably the bad guy. Me, I've got to know. There's something darker than the How night I'm dealing with, and it hinges on what happened that evening seven years ago with her. I don't judge you on your poor life decisions. As Taylor videos. leaves, she hands me the key to a room at the Ritz. She calls. I told you, my choice. Tits. I take those in a heartbeat. You have a vex. You have a vex. Looks like Archie's back in town. I should Yay. check out his three cards to midnight shop and now, see if he knows. Tits are never a poor life decision. Archie, 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 Archie. He's a good boy. He's a good boy. Drop by three cards to midnight. I've got some exciting information about that. Looks like Archie's back in town. Cool. I should. I don't know, Saki. How could they ever be a bad decision? Back pay. Taylor, this opens a room. Okay, that's fair. I'll give you that one. Well, that won't work. Wait, what do you mean that won't work? The door to my back storage room is locked. That's strange. True. True. Chelsea loved to go to Arizona. She did. I'd like to think I was the only thing keeping her here on Chandler Avenue. A reminder of the best and worst night of my life. Man, the other lady's more attractive. Well, these are also very old at the beach <laughs> photos, so, okay. Yeah, I remember how much Chelsea wanted to go to the Fuchsia Flamingo that night. 
Chelsea's business card for her newsstand. I didn't have the heart to tell her that Print is dead. I remember this thing was fourteen dollars and ninety nine cents. Man, I spent an entire three months' salary. I just read that. I thought he said I remember how much Chelsea wanted to go to the fucking flamingo. <laughs> I'm here to ask you out for dinner, and I'm not taking no for an answer. What? Like a date? No. It, Wait, I'm sorry. Like Fourteen ninety-nine is three months' meal, salary. And maybe some stimulating conversation. Joke. I guess that'd be okay. I mean, yeah, that that'd be all right. So what are you in the mood for? You know, I heard Weenie World put tater tots on the menu. I've got a better idea. Why don't you let me make you dinner at my place? It's cheaper than going out. And uh, besides, I have uh, something I'd like to talk to you about. Let's say uh, eight o'clock. Well, you talked me into it, Miss Parabellum. Well, I feel so spoiled. By the way, what should I bring, red or white? You better bring both. It's funny how fashion cycles. These are all Chelsea's belongings. It's a picture of me and my would-be girlfriend. Chelsea always looked great in it. It's a picture of Chelsea. Yeah. Okay. Oh, mind the bigger, better things, I suppose. Yeah, needs a key. Uh-oh. That doesn't look good. Leonard. <clears throat> She's gonna be the bad guy. You think so? I think so. Right. Or super dead. Or super fucking dead. Oops, noodles. Uh, head to three cards to midnight. Archie Ellis is my herbal tea loving source for all things alien, supernatural, conspiracy theorist. Or he's just plain crazy. He ran into some trouble with the NSA on my last case. Last I knew, he was hiding out in some tropical locale with a bevy of. By the way, you should have taken the other girl. Oh, that's my final time, I'll say that. Shades of gray. Hey, Murphy, how you doing? You, you okay? I, I heard you were having some kind of amnesia. You, you know, most alien abductees always have some sort of memory loss. <laughs> you still into that alien thing, aren't you? Isn't that just a little passe? The truth never goes out of style, my friend. Now, I heard something about an injection and a and a head wound. <gasps> Yowza! You really back off, man, because I swear I will what shoot the hell's you tries to touch this, okay? Uh, passe okay, is like I'm sorry. after it's time. Ouch. Ooh. So, I guess you do need some catching up then. A few months ago, I moved back here from the islands, and I opened up this place. And I was hoping that you and I could hang out together like old times, but you haven't been around much. Oof, we Roblox now. Well, what happened? Hey, the guy said oof. Oh, he said oof. I don't... I, was Roblox 2014? I don't... Mm, I don't know. So I had to come by with the traditional welcome back fruit basket. I have turned into a bastard. Sounded like the same Murph to me making jokes and putting your cigarette out in my herbal tea before I'm done with it. Yeah. So, did I happen to tell you anything about the case I'm working on? Not yet, but you know I'm always ready to be Robin to your Batman. <laughs> uh, without the homoerotic undertones, of course. Oh my god. Sorry, Arch, but it's a package deal. If you're gonna be in this with me, you're gonna have to be in all the way. <laughs> you, you, you had me going there, Murph. <laughs> okay, Boy Wonder, I need you to enter two names into the back computer. Mason Bowers, Margaret Leonard. Well, I don't know about Mason Bowers, but Margaret Leonard? 
She's connected to one of the greatest mysteries of all time. I mean, you know who uh, Nikola Tesla was, right? Nikola. The cop guy? Nikola Tesla was a genius. Probably one of the greatest geniuses ever. I mean, it was Tesla, not Marconi, who was the true inventor of the radio. He invented a, a Tesla coil, the AC electricity. Nikola? Really? As in Nikola? Yeah, fuck. So we're almost to the part about Margaret. <clears throat> Right. Well, uh, Tesla died in 1943 when the FBI uh, just swooped in and confiscated all his papers and designs. Well, then in about 2012, theory. all this stuff, the, the Tesla cash just disappeared. And you want to know who the number <laughs> one suspect dick. was? Margaret Leonard. No, an FBI agent named Charles Johansson. Now, I know they could never prove that he did it. But then he quits the FBI and joins some Tesla fanatic group called the Tesla Legacy Society, a group dedicated to making the world better through technology. And that's where he meets Margaret Leonard. Bingo! They fall in love, they get married. I think they even had a kid together. So where's Margaret now? Uh, not a clue. Johansson uh, died a couple years later, cancer, I think. And after that, Margaret just dropped out of circulation. Interesting. So all this happened, what, 30, 37 years ago. I mean, no one's found the Tesla cash since then? It's one of the great mysteries. The lost inventions of Nikola Tesla. What's the big deal with the Tesla inventions? I mean, there must be some reason they were never made. Oh, you ever hear of a little thing called Tunguska? <sighs> Have I ever. Picked up a bad case when I was down in Mexico. Where I learned the phrase, Banos, rapidos, andale, muchachos, vamanos. Oh, oh, Murph, you're too funny. You know, in 1890s, Tesla conducted an experiment and created a resonance frequency. You know, like a big vibration, and it nearly took out a whole chunk of New York City. And then in the 1900s, he began to work on what he called a teleforce beam. The, the, the press called it, you know, a death ray, you know, cooler name. But a few years later in Russia, remote area called Tunguska, something caused an explosion a thousand times greater than the atomic bomb. A thousand times greater than the atomic bomb 40 years before we invented it? But that was the last anyone ever heard of the death ray. Tesla never got funding. Instead, they made him out to be some crackpot, and he was broke for the rest of his life. Some people think the plans for it were part of the Tesla cash. Just think how much someone would pay to get their hands on that. Time to ask the Harding questions. What do you know about me? And I'll never forget what you did tipping me off before that whack job NSA guy could get me. <laughs> He's so happy. What do you know about the Ritz Motel? Seems nice. Lay off the tea. You know me, Murph. Always up for an adventure. As long as I don't have to go anywhere. Thanks, Archie. You like my shop? <laughs> kind of like my old one, the Cosmic Connection. But I had to change the name in case, you know, the, the NSA and all that. All right, what do you know about Louie? I eat at the brew and stew all the time. Good, good. Uh, what do you know about my memory loss? I actually wouldn't mind forgetting a few years of my own life, mostly my teenage years. Okay. What do I know how yeah. Oh, that's the hollow babe at the Golden Gate. Yeah, Mojo is warm for her form, or lack thereof, as it were. Thank you. Hook Erner. He's not very friendly, is he? No, he is not. Uh, do you know this woman? Gosh, you'd think a sidekick would be a little more helpful, huh? Oh, okay. Uh, what about the barbecue place? My little buddy Mojo works over there. <laughs> we hang out a lot, but I can't stay there too long. Something makes my eyeballs burn. What do you know about the freeze gun? Don't know about that. You don't know about the freeze gun, okay. What about, uh, do you know a J.T. Donnelly? Donnelly's kind of a mysterious character. He was a private detective Tesla may have hired not long before he died. There's a mention of it in one of Tesla's letters. Interesting. No, both aliens and ghosts can communicate through their dreams. 
It's a proven fact. All right, what about Margaret Leonard? Do you know anything else? I've been checking my sources, right. but no one's heard a thing about her in years. Oh, really? She died like well, 40 years ago and <clears throat> either left the Tesla cash with Margaret know. Leonard or somebody oh, else. Or he took it to the ground. I don't know what Let I'm the... doing. Oh. Uh. Like, I could Tesla go to bed now if right I want to be rested for the while. The death rate? My first well, day the name says training. it all, doesn't it? <laughs> or fuck that. <laughs> that would be a bad word out of you. All right, well, yeah, I don't I actually don't feel shocked like, shock at all or anything doing the call anymore, else so it's Chandler like, I don't need to worry about picture. that. The only thing I have problems with is those, uh, what's the word, like, how do I put this? Yes. The hypotheticals? Like, this really weird situation happened, how would this be? And how it I guess filed out it. as, what's the disposition, hey, what's the actual status of this, so we do we reschedule, blah, blah, blah. Sorry, and I from don't know there, if people. it's pretty Except varied, which is here. generally those ones I ask questions of, I can pretty uh, ask questions of. I'm capable of getting a, uh, like, the ability to look at that and kind of look at similar ones and give it the same kind of viewpoint. Okay. I mean... <laughs> I mean, this is a stream. Talk about video games. Ah! I just realized that. Sorry. Hey, Clint's back. Do I want to play a game of these? Do I want to play Overwatch? Yeah, I'm a PI, so I figured that one out already. Now that you're back, I wonder if you could help me out with something. You recognize the woman in this photo? Oh, nice. I think I saw her in a playbook from 1996. Is this your girlfriend? Well, now, if she were my girlfriend, I wouldn't be trying to figure out who she was now, would I? Sheesh. <laughs> I'm just kidding about this woman being your girlfriend. She's actually mine. No, I'm kidding again. This is Margaret Leonard. She's had a room here at the Ritz forever. She used to live here, but I haven't seen her in years. So, she may not be here anymore, but she auto-pays her rent, so it's all good. Any chance you can get me into her apartment? <laughs> not a chance in hell. I let her install her own security system, just like you, except ah, hers man. is a real one. Okay. I can't tell you which apartment it is, but sorry. you won't I mean, the freaking, uh, season thing Maybe I can try so it. It's still on off-season, so I have to wait for 19 more hours. Oh, well. Okay, where are you playing, anyway? Nah, I bet uh, she was something back in the day. What's <laughs> that about? I actually day. never looked into it beyond knowing you were All playing All I know about something. her is she's got a room here. I hardly ever see her, so I don't know when she's here and when she isn't. Hmm? Can't help you with that. Thanks, Clint. I haven't tried it. They say what that the sauce will melt your eyeballs. Like just that's a risk I'm just not willing to take. I know for a fact that I'm just going to go over your stream. It would be much easier hat, that way. She'd be my lady love. Thanks, Lynn. A lot of help. Big help. Big help for big boys. So, that is her room with the blood hand print next to it. Yeah, let's take a look at the beating while I take another drink. Blood pipes are always magically drawn. That's, that's a really neat looking game. I'm mama's little champion, he says as he walks away. <laughs> okay, so, uh... <laughs> what do I have? What do I have? I have the picture. I could see if anyone else has seen this individual. Rook's pawn? Yep. <sighs> I've been thinking, Murphy, yeah. Uh, perhaps I should find something to 
television. Yeah, that's, that actually looks pretty cool. You believe that Maldonado is spying on you. The game I remember you playing last time that I wasn't sure of was the one that was like a little cartoon chibi character. How did you know? Oh, um, words P, I mean anything to you. Uh, sexy brutal. Grave danger. I, I've tried to contact her, but to no avail. Gosh, if only we knew someone with some detective skills. Do you know how to get into her apartment? No, but she may have left a clue. Some time ago, she left this in my care. It's, it's for you. For me? She wanted you to have it in case anything happened. I met Margaret years ago. She was a woman of secrets. I have an interest in Tesla collectibles, so yes, I've heard of it. And no, I don't know where you could find it. Thank you, Hook. I met Margaret years ago. She was a woman of secrets. Okay, same thing. Okay, whatever. Alright, so, I have a book. Let's take a look at the book. Is this an autocomplete? It's a fucking autocomplete button. So, The Life of Nikola Tesla, one blank, so 1963. Uh, four blank, one, two, nine. don't actually know what the next set of numbers would be. I wonder if anyone else on Chandler Avenue. Uh, let's go take a look at the other function. More questions? Why you gotta keep coming back with more questions? Because I can't. I remember her. Sweet little old lady. Used to see her around the neighborhood years ago. Years ago. Don't remember the last time I saw her. That's very... It's very, very open-minded there. Well, let's go ask Mogo. Still can't believe I'm working with the one and only Tex Murphy. What can I do for you, sir? Sure you see a little extortionist? That's the witch. At least that's what I call her. A couple times I've seen this old lady sneaking around the neighborhood. Oh. Doesn't help me. All right, let's go, Louie. Whatever you need, Mife. Just ask. You're too nice. Oh, I know this little lady. Haven't seen her around in quite a while, but she used to come in pretty regular. I think she lived at the Ritz, at least for a time. She and Chelsea were real friendly. Hmm. Pretty sure her name wasn't Margaret Lennon. At least that ain't the name she told me. Interesting. All right, and then my dream. I know you was having bad dreams way back when, but I didn't hear nothing else about him after, you know, the thing with Chelsea happened. Okay. Well, shit. Back at square two. Because square one would mean I don't have a lead. But I do have a lead. I just don't want to do that right now. Um Let's see. Yeah, the only way to do it is to solve this puzzle, but I don't know how to actually solve the puzzle of Flashy new neighbor. Whoa. Well, uh, it looks like I'm gonna auto solve this one. I'm just waiting for that to fill. 
<sighs> like I let's see, the life of Nikola Tesla. So it would be would it be eighteen sixty three was when he was born. Like the numbers don't match up anyways to anything else, so yeah, I just skipped the points <clears throat> lost for doing that. Damn, that hurts. All right. Was she blind when she picked these out? Uh oh, that doesn't look good. As I walk in the bathroom, I realize there's something wrong. Oh. Is that the goddamn goat scream? Yes. The unusual suspects. Love that movie. Love that movie. So how many days is this game? I don't know. I think I found Margaret Leonard. Well, most of her. Looks like Margaret Leonard had a video journal. I'll need to find a memory stick to use on the vid player to watch them. It's a business card for someone named Count St. Germain. Oh, there's a flower for each month of the year. Interesting. So Margaret was killed as well as Chelsea? Chelsea is unconfirmed. It was just in the police report that she burned up in Texas Speeder. And he doesn't believe it. there and the blue September so nine, two, three, four, five, six, a seven, an eight, a nine. Or would it be one? Ah, okay. Figured it out. It's a picture of someone named Mantis. It's a picture of someone named Mantis. Hmm. It's a business card for someone named Count St. Germain. I wonder if anyone else on Chandler Avenue. So all this for a photo. Was she blind when she picked these out? That chair looks comfortable. Too comfortable. Mr. Murphy, you need to come with us if you want to live. Seriously? Just kidding. What was going on in there? <sighs> you know the drill. Why do so many people around you end up dead? Well, it's not because I kill them, if that's what you're implying. It's unusual. Did you kill Margaret Leonard? Oh, yeah, I throw three. <laughs> Come on, Danwich. If I killed her, what did I do with her head? Eat it? So we keep walking in on you with all these dead bodies. You must be the unluckiest guy in the world. Uh... Well, 
I don't know if I'm number one, but I'll tell you, I'm in the top ten. I'm also in the top ten of the luckiest, but don't ask me why. I don't care why, I just want to know who. Wait a second, how do we even know it's Margaret Leonard? I mean, maybe that's why they took the head. Yeah, that might have worked a hundred years ago, but now we've got apps for that. We've already got a positive ID. Mm, it's kind of fun, isn't it? I mean, kind of working together, uh, bouncing ideas, sharing information. I mean, what if I said I had some information that might help your investigation? I'd say you were withholding evidence. No, I said I might have something. No, you said you had something that might help. Yeah, oops. Look, Dan, which you seem like a stand-up guy, and I know you don't want any vigilantism, so I'll play it by the book. I think I have video that might have been shot by the guy who killed Margaret Leonard. I'm just gonna hand it to you. And hope you'll cut me some slack. It's on your smart, Alex. Let's have it. The guy in the video is Mason Bowers. And this is the guy you think was abducted. The problem is there's no evidence of anyone being abducted, so I can't investigate. My hands are tied. Well, mine, as you see, are not. I may have seen this guy before on some kind of surveillance video. A surveillance video, you say? The video could have shown you in your apartment talking to an elderly lady. There may have been another man there as well, a mutant of some kind, who might have jumped you. The elderly lady, in theory, could have appeared to have injected you when you were restrained. In the ensuing struggle, you might have been knocked out on the desk. <coughs> and when would Bowers have shown, hypothetically? Right after you were knocked out, tore through the apartment in pursuit of the old lady. So everything that I've told you matches up, and we're both looking for Mason Bowers. Are you familiar with a program called VCT, Vehicle Compliance Tracking? All cars come with sensors that report when one is out of compliance. For example, when you have your right front headlight shot out, if you could access the VCT database, which is illegal and highly inadvisable, you would find a list of all vehicles with the right front headlight shot out. If you could provide more information on the vehicle, you can access an ID and an address from the registration. Any chance this might have been the vehicle seen in the Maldonado surveillance video? Very slow. I gotta get back to work. You're very Murphy. slow, Murphy. If you got questions, ask him. And then you gotta choose his words carefully. Yeah, and he's speculative nonsense. Yeah, yeah what do you mean? You can't have mine? A speeder with a broken headlight on the front passenger side? No idea what you're talking about. Wait, wait, no judge. That's Margaret Leonard? I'll have to take your word for it. Okay. Don't recognize the face. Sorry. I know who Zach Williams is, and who his associates are. I'd advise you to keep your distance. Really? For Zach Williams? Okay. As soon as I got back from the new San Francisco Police Department, I had an urgent message from Rook. It seems Rook had a soft spot for Margaret wanted to bring her some justice. He told me he had another interested party in the Tesla cash, a Count St. Germain, who was staying at the Golden Gate Hotel. Maybe he could divulge some answers. All right. One hears a great deal about Tex <clears throat> Murphy on Chandler Avenue. To what do I owe this pleasure? You're evil as fuck. Word is you're a big fan of Nikola Tesla, or at least his stuff. Yes. 
Your local pawn shop has a remarkably extensive offering of Tesla paraphernalia. Certainly the largest cache I've found this side of Belgrade. Who looks like Jack Black? A little bit. I gather you're at least somewhat familiar with the like story of the Tesla cache. Jack Black. I believe some of the items Rook has were part of the Tesla cache, but he refuses to divulge how he obtained them. I presume from Margaret Leonard, or some third party who got them from her. Oh, shocking. Rook normally would cut off his right arm if he thought somebody would buy it. I've spent many years searching for something. My hope is to find a clue as to its whereabouts in Tesla's letters or journals. Okay. But the trail has led me here. Tell me, Mr. Murphy, do you know the name J.T. Donnelly? Yeah. I mean, I just heard about it, but he was a P.I. and he lived around here back in the 1940s. At the Ritz, in the very room in which you now live. An intriguing connection. Yeah, I mean, it's interesting and uh, maybe a little weird, but it's, it's not a connection. <laughs> but it's so much more than that. Back in Donnelly's time, there was a man known as the Sleeping Prophet, Edgar Casey. He made a compelling here. case for the belief that most of us have lived past lives. <laughs> You're losing me. Come now. You've said on more than one occasion that you felt as if you'd been born a century too late. A man out of time, as it were. Tell me. Do you have disturbingly realistic, vivid dreams of another era? What? You know about my dreams? I must be getting incredibly broad-minded in my old age. So what are you saying? Ah, uh, I was J.T. Donnelly in a former life. We could explore that possibility, but first... Have eggs ever appeared in your dreams? Oh, I love eggs, of course. Uh, poached, over-easy, scrambled, I mean, they're... Certainly nature's wonder food. There are affordable accommodations in better parts of the city. Something could have been drawing you specifically to the Ritz. Don't you agree? Yeah, cheap rent. Could you maybe help me out with these memories? Uh, help me interpret these dreams? If you could find this egg, or even put me on its trail again, I have certain techniques such as regression and channeling that could help you recall past events. And, I should add, the egg is worth a fortune. Which I would gladly pay. We talk for a few minutes longer, but I tell him I need to get back to the case. This is way beyond my comprehension. Mystical eggs? Mind regression? Past lives? It's boggling. Margaret spoke of an egg being held by a religious fanatic who prays. Was it the Tesla egg I found in the wall at the Ritz? If so, it would have been there for over a hundred years. Does it have some sort of channeling power from the person who possessed it? Well, Mason Bowers is still the key. I need data for the VCT so I can find out who kidnapped him. Better start asking around. Time for some good old-fashioned detective work. You should talk to potential witnesses and see if they know anything about the suspicious vehicle involved. Hello, Maria. How goes the investigation? Now you care. So, tell us your name. Interesting fellow. He was particularly interested in anything to do with Nikola Tesla. He mentioned that he stayed at the Golden Gate Hotel. Okay. The, uh, the speeder that flew away after the gunshots I heard? I'm not sure what type it was, uh, but I did notice that the interior was very unusual. It was uh, all white. All white. I'm quite certain she was on the run from someone or something. I took care of her as much as she'd let me. I'm very sad she's gone. Just... Yes, I'm sure that Margaret's items came from the Tesla cash. Though the pieces she gave me to sell weren't nearly as valuable as rumors would have you believe. Hmm. Okay. So, we learned another little tidbit. Let's go see if, uh... Not again. Uh, you're you're going to get me fired. fired. Or worse. Sure, whatever, fine. Okay. Did you see the speeder? Yeah, there was a speeder that took off right after the gunshots. Saw it in my rearview mirror. 
I got a thing for high-end speeders. This was a 48 Pandian. Pandian. Speed? Right. Pandian. Pandion. See if Louis saw anything. I hope you don't mind, Mike. I've been telling folks in the neighborhood about your situation, just so they know it's the old text they're dealing with. Let me know what else I can do for you. So this is the speeder you think took off after those gunshots and the abduction the other day. I do remember seeing a vehicle. I didn't get the license plate or nothing. I just saw it was one of them nice pandians. The Bi-Turbo XL model. Cool. And what do you know about Count Uh Big guy? Uh, talks like he should be on the radio. On the radio. Yeah, he came in the other day. Didn't seem too impressed with my uh, cuisine. Yeah, let's go see if Mojo knows anything about it. Of all the face-melting food joints in all the towns, in all the world, you walk into mine. Would if I could. Oh. Alright, so I now have a little bit of... Mm. Looks like somebody's wiped my com- mm. No messages on the vid phone. How do I do it for my car? No. <sighs> oh, I have to actually talk to Okay, well, back to the third so we go. Well, this is a flashy new sapphire, eh? Well, that sounds like a fun new neighbor. Wow, that is crazy what happened to Margaret Leonard. Is everything okay with you and the cops? Yeah, cops would love to pin it on me, but I think it's all tied to a Mason Bowers who was abducted outside the Ritz a couple of nights ago. I'm just trying to find anybody who might have seen something. Oh, well, then Let's you probably call. need to talk to yeah, Sapphire. Sapphire? Some Greek oracle. Well, I don't know if she's Greek or not, but she's definitely exotic looking. And she's one of your fellow tenants. Her door's decorated like a French nightmare, but it suits her business. So if you hear any noises you can't identify, you might want to come back later. Not a clue. Not a clue. It's a damn shame what happened to that little lady. I'm not crazy about what it did to her apartment. Of course you are. All right, so. Well, this is a nice surprise. Likewise, and may I say that the neighborhood has become more friendly and more beautiful than I remember. Thanks, Tex. You know just what to say to please the lady. Wow, is that a, uh, what kind of contraption is that? So, what brings New San Francisco's sexiest P.I. to my door? This is her pleasure. Let's start with business. How does it <laughs> Well, we could use that home gym in there to work off some stress. I'm sure you wouldn't mind a happy ending. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that's that's all anybody I, wants, right? I man, mean, I picked a bad time to look down my back of my of screen. Yeah, yeah, fine. Yeah, yeah. 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 But what if I don't play yeah. ball? <laughs> Can we still rock and tumble? Come on, guys. What's up, Good night. Don't make me twist your arm. No, I'm proud of it. You can't make me Wait, literally now. Glad I can say that. We can do this the hard way or the easy way. Excuse me? Are you threatening me? Because yeah. if you are, I'd love to see you try the hard way. Oh. 
I'm sorry, Tex. I got carried away. I didn't mean to hurt you. It's not like that. Do you forgive me? Not until I give you a good, firm interrogation. I'm all yours, Mr. Murphy. Jesus Christ, let's just start. It looked black, or midnight blue at first, but when the light hit it just right, hmm, I could see that it was actually close to sapphire. Which, of course, death I by snooze do. Yeah, death by snooze do. Death no. sweet lady used to live here. Now, what would I know about that? I, I don't, I don't know. What other books? But that place will literally kill you. Thank you. No idea who that is. Okay, thank you. What would I think? After Clint took over ownership of the Ritz from Nilo, things got a lot better. He even removed all the bugs and hidden cameras. Runs the electronic shop, though he's hardly ever there. He's very strange. Rook's one of my best customers. His tastes aren't as old-fashioned as you might think. Hmm. That scumbag detective has been watching me for months. Okay. He's been videotaping the Ritz. Okay. That's the guy you think got abducted? I saw him around a few times coming to see you. I thought. So spunky. And I love spunk. We're done with this conversation. Thank you. Uh, what do you know about my I only met you a couple years ago. So, I don't know what you were like before, but I like what I see now. It ain't just your ass that's bad. It gets along with everybody. Makes great food. Thank you. And what about his niece? What's she got that I don't? I can tell you one thing that I've got that she doesn't. That's not my kind of store. Thank you. It's not the nicest place in town, but you can't beat the price. It's a live and let live kind of place. First, I hear people running around up in your apartment. Then the speeder lands outside. I hear some man yelling and screaming outside the Ritz. Then he runs off with some other people chasing him. After a bit, he comes back. And I hear him outside my window. Sounds like he's talking to himself. Then two other guys catch him, shove him into the speeder. Then I hear gunshots, and the speeder takes off. Yeah. You're a tough guy who thinks he's above the law. What girl doesn't like to get a little turned on by that kind of man? And we're done. Thank you. Thank you. Thank um, you. you do know she's a he, right? With the strength of ten ordinary men. All right, so I now know what I need to do, but what do, how do I how do I go about? I need to find a few more identifying features about this. It's a picture of someone. This was his Holly. Holly Graham knows anything. Are you playing fucking Yaku Yum Yums? I am. Hey, Tex. I was waiting for a while now. You're talking about the speeder I saw take off after the shooting? What I can tell you for certain is the last two digits on the license plate. They were the numbers six and three. Oh, thank you. Hey, you, Holly. Due to my restrictive protocols, I can only confirm that Cal Sajarine is currently a Hall guest at our hotel. Brain. Well, I finally gather enough data to identify the kidnap vehicle. Registered to a company called Seisan, and the location appears on my map. Cool. I check out Seisan with Smart Alex and find out it's some sort of doomsday cult recruiting candidates for a brave new world, and they believe this world will arrive soon. These boys take their schoolwork seriously. Can I drink the punch? I'm gonna drink the punch. Let me drink the punch. Oh, 
Worst field block in the entrance. Well, there's some interesting symbols written on these pillars. symbols written on these pillars. a token that would grant me entry inside. I head back to my office to devise a new strategy when I find a fax waiting for me. Someone's been watching over my shoulder and it's not a comforting feeling. want to get inside since I'm near the top of Quake Tower. An anonymous informant. An old friend? <laughs> Boop. Quake Tower. Yep, this is a great idea. Just waiting to meet some anonymous chap who still sends faxes. You know, he probably uses real bullets. I think you need to be a little more trusting of people. Tax, tax. I'm plugged into the internet. The internet. And you want me to trust people? Good point. Running around at the speed of sound. Got the space to go. Got to follow the space boat. Follow me. Spat me speed. Female miss, female miss, papes from the spitty. Spall spit gets boo, so follow me. And cutscene as soon as I reach the top of the stairs. Hello, mate. How? What? Uh, weren't you in... Locked up in San Quentin till 2260? No, not me. Good behavior. Well, I'm glad you turned over a new leaf. I'm a big fan of forgiving and forgetting. Mostly forgetting. So what don't you remember? Uh, just the last seven years. So you don't remember everything after you and Chelsea got nicked? Chelsea's brother? The English woman, Juliet? Our little partnership? Our partnership? Look, I know we just made up, but I think I'd rather lick toilets with my tongue than work with you. Ah, uh, but you did, Tex. I did? Which one? Work with me? And it paid a lot better than licking dunnies. How do you think you made all that money? These past few years have been, shall we say, mutually beneficial. But now it seems the same old Tex, the Boy Scout, is back. That's a problem. Want to know what's wrong with the Boy Scouts? Not a darn thing. So you've been helping us track down this precious little egg. First you say you got it. Then you say Margaret Lennon stole it. 
Next thing I know, you turn up at Saison, tripping security alarms like some clueless amateur. Well, what the hell was that all about? For your information, I set those alarms off on purpose, and I don't have to tell you why. Yeah. Always got to do everything the hard way, don't you, Tex? This will get you in the say, Sam. Hope you know what you're doing. I'll give you 24 hours to find that egg. And then I'm gonna come looking for you. And you know I'll find you. Yikes. Interesting. But I think I'm gonna call it on that. Scape, save. Two hours of a good of a good thing. Maybe pick it up tomorrow after I'm done with my appointment. Big day tomorrow. Not looking forward to it, but you know how that goes. Current path to have and have not. ratio and keep it oh. so thank you anyone who is random and joining us hopefully we'll see you floating around later on and maybe tomorrow I might continue this nice little story of Tex Murphy we're getting seven years of your life where you have activity and then you just wake up how strange 